Hey Internet, Crazy Twinkle Star here and today I'll be showing you how I made Arya's dagger, also known as the weapon that ended the biggest build-up in the series at least three episodes too early. I made this completely out of stuff I already had at home, but here's a list of the materials. You will need a thermoplastic like warbler, cosplay flex, zebra, etc. Alternatively, you could use modeling clay, but it won't turn out as sturdy. Obviously, a hot air gun, hard foam, a cutter, wood filler, and I also used gesso, sanding paper, a primer, spray paint and or acrylic paint, paint brushes, a varnish to seal it, decorative stones, and some glue to add the stones. To get the proportions right, I used a blueprint from Punish Props Academy. You can find the link to their video in the description box below. And scaled it down to 80% because it seemed far too big for my tiny hand and, well, self. The red shape that I'm drawing here is what I cut from the hard foam. I love this type of foam for smaller blades because you can just cut it with an ordinary cutter and don't need a saw or other fancy tools. With a ballpoint pen and just enough pressure, I traced everything onto the blade. I also marked the middle, so I'd know until where I had to sharpen the edge. I tried to carve in the line on top with my ballpoint pen first, but ended up using the back of my cutter later. To get the hilt three-dimensional, I heated up some cosplay flex and warble leftovers. That always is a great way to reuse your scraps. Then I went on modeling some of the details. Once I was happy with that, I covered the whole hilt with a big piece of cosplay flex. Now it's time to add some structure to the horn. That may take some time, but it's totally worth it, believe me. Next I marked where the metal pieces would go. I also made them with cosplay flex. And please don't forget to make sure that your stones will fit in later. There's nothing worse than not being able to put them in once you're well finished with the whole thing. All you have to do now is to work your way up until you acquire the shapes you desire and you're halfway there.
To smooth out the surface of the metal parts I used some filler and that ended up not being enough for me so I added like 10 more layers of gesso and this is not a joke, it took me 3 days. Once you're happy, it's time for sanding and priming. But please don't be an idiot like me. I had to hold the dagger in my hand for half an hour because I sprayed both sides at once and couldn't place it down. Be intelligent and prime one side after the other like a normal human being would. At that point I already spray painted the blade and the handle. I just decided to paint the rest with acrylic paint. Upon looking at dozens of references, I realized that there is some kind of structure in the metal of the blade. It's Valyrian steel after all. Fun fact, I read that Valyrian steel is based on Damascan steel. I added more depth by setting highlights and shadows all over the dagger. To give it a more used look, I also dry brushed a dirty brown into the creases. The horn seemed a bit glossy in the reference pictures to me, so I sealed the paint and only those places with a glossy varnish. Last but not least, it's time to add the stones. I made the red ones out of resin I found at home and the black ones are leftovers from my Rapunzel crown that I painted with black nail polish. Et voilà, we are done. I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough and that it will help you if you decide to make your own dagger. If you want to see more progress of my Aria cosplay, you can follow me on social media or subscribe to this channel or even get me a coffee if you want to show your support. As always, happy crafting, crazy twinkle star out!